What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Ultimate Rider Series Punisher Action Figure Review. Gotta give a big shout out to my boy MCU Collector 24 for finding this for me and sending it my way. And as always, before we get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's take a look at this Punisher. Now looking at our Punisher out of the box, he comes with everything you see here. Hold these glorious accessories are awesome and he's mainly on the netflix luke cage body just in all black with some new parts added you know you get new arms and you get a new like shoulder strap piece so we're definitely gonna dive in take a look at the figure then we'll take a look at the accessories that we have over here oh my god i feel like this guy's gonna kill me right now just staring at him look at that face sculpt man that is so Punisher like he looks like a mean dude that's just ready to kill someone and it looks absolutely amazing I love the slick back hair we get here uh, The just the wrinkles on his forehead that looks cool and along with those wrinkles on the forehead You get this nice chiseled jaw sculpt and you get some red printed around the eyes So that looks cool. So you know, he looks uh, like he's had no sleep and just ready to <laughs> move on to the next kill and I like the broken nose it looks like this dude has a broken nose so really really cool um, almost like a, a boxer like features and looking at the harness straps right here it's a new piece added onto this body which came with the aim soldier army builder 2 pack so I like the way it's uh, it looks on here as it's painted in all black Here's the skeleton, you know, that iconic Punisher skull. And um, I don't know if I like the way it looks. It looks too soft, you know. It looks like a soft Punisher skull. And I uh, definitely want a meaner looking skull. But it is what it is. I do like how there's some, you know, almost speckles and stuff around that. Uh, it looks pretty cool. You know, wrinkled shirt. These arms are new that you're seeing, so even the shoulder pieces right here, and you get these arms that are super jacked, and you get these pinless arms. Look at that, man. I love the way the pinless arms looks. It looks so clean. It looks so smooth. You know, it, it's just, it makes it aesthetically better. And you get these new hands with these short fingerless gloves. Nice texture on the gloves, too. Uh, that's pretty cool. This hand moves uh, the side to side hinge and the other hand has that up and down movement. So unfortunately he does not have alternate hands and that's a bummer and I'll cover that when we get to accessories. Uh, looking at the rest of the body though, again the Luke Cage uh, jeans and it's in all black. You get this uh, magazine holster strap that came with Killmonger and the other camo Punisher. Yep, everything else, solid black. Looks good though. This is a very good reuse of this body for this character. And the boots, bottom of the boots. Now to take a look at some accessories, here's the battle damage alternate head. And it looks freaking amazing. You know, I've applauded them for getting gritty and edgy with adding some blood to the figures. And we get that here again. You get a cut right there with some stitching or bandages. Tape over the broken nose. That's dope. More reddish uh, print around the eyes. That looks good. Love the grin, man. Fantastic. Looking at the side profile right there. Again, he's just looking so mean. So a pretty hardcore looking head sculpt and to make it look even more hardcore, you got the Kill Crew helmet right here. You could put that on and damn, that looks badass. So yeah, I recommend you read the Kill Crew comic. It was like a five part mini series in that whole War of the Realms story arc. And he goes on the hunt for a frost giant. And seeing this right now, I just want to put this Punisher on my Asgardian cosmic shelf. Yeah, I really like the way the helmet came out. Love the spikes going up the middle across the top of his head and down there so cool just wish it had a bit of a dirtier wash to it you know that would have made it pop out really really nice and you got the horns right here in brown and if you want to see how this helmet looks with the other head on here you go and he still looks hardcore and next up he comes with a baseball bat and me being a baseball guy growing up playing baseball that is my favorite sport i am happy to get a baseball bat accessory for marvel legends so uh unfortunately it just doesn't have enough paint no actually it has no paint man it could have used like a nice pine tar kind of wash to it 
or something but i think they made it this way so it could be customizable you know if maybe you want to customize some blood splatter or you know anything i'll still take it and then next up we get a machete which is pretty cool I like the silver paint right here and then the brown handle i don't think we ever got a machete before in marvel legends right actually now that i think about it the san diego comic-con savage land exclusive Shaun of the she devil had a machete but i don't think it was this same one it's definitely different just wish he had alternate hands to grip these to make it look more natural instead of the trigger finger hands then next up he comes with this sawed off shotgun and it looks pretty cool and it's painted in brown on the handle right here and on the bottom right here at the front end so it looks pretty cool then next up we get this uzi and i can't remember the last time we got an uzi in marvel legends but yeah it looks really really good and i thought this was the same uzi that came with the gi joe classified series snake eyes deluxe figure but it is not it is bigger in size and it's just a different design overall look at that look at the handle you see that yeah, so it's definitely different. But they both fit in his hands perfectly. This is the one the Punisher comes with. That's a Snake Eyes one, so you see. But maybe the one he comes with is a little too on the big side for an Uzi. Maybe that's more realistic. And if you have the White Rabbit figure, you can use that muzzle effect for this, and it looks good. And the last out of the weapons, he comes with a Tech 9. And I gotta say, I really like the realistic take on these weapons. Um, they're giving us realistic weapons, and for Punisher, you, you, you got to, and it works. I like this. You know, I feel like this is how it should be done for characters like Punisher. So interestingly enough, you get this port right here. So I did try the Deadly Origins Black Widow muzzle effect, and it fits perfectly. Look at that. And you can put the smoke effect on there too, no problem. It just looks so good. Also, the sawed-off shotgun does have ports on the front end, so if you want to use those muzzle effects as well, they just come off shooting on an outward angle like this. However, the smoke effects on this look so dope, man. Like, yo, this is a lot of fun right here. Lastly, and mainly the focal point of this whole set is the vehicle, and it looks really nice and all black Harley. And the bike has the rubber wheels, so it rolls back and forth nicely. You have the stand right here, so it can stay put. And looking at it from the front, it looks good. You have this that steers left and right. Don't know why they gave him a bike here, and in Kill Crew, he uses a van, but, you know, whatevs. And looking at the gauge on the bike, it's the Punisher Skull, and I thought that looks freaking fantastic a nice touch to it and there is this dope license plate that says punish 616 <laughs> and i like that you know 616 being marvel's main earth nyc at the top and it says i heart new york and here's taking a look at punisher on his bike and this looks so damn good the one thing i don't like is this thing sticking out at the back right here so i kind of wish they hit it by putting some sort of like weapons rack you know that would have been cool to store his weapons and such on it so i think that would have been dope you know what would be even more awesome though if we ever get a punisher van down the line and we can store this bike inside that van that would be super cool now to cover articulation with the punisher his head moves that far up so really good moves that far down it swivels and he has a slight head tilt so that's not bad and with the helmet on he looks that far up so yeah you, you know you're not gonna be hindered at all and moves down yeah you're good on that part his arms move that far up unfortunately you're not gonna pass uh higher than this just because of the cut off sculpted sleeve right here it moves down and it kind of wiggles as if he has a butterfly joint interesting but anyway it moves all around you got the shoulder swivel bicep swivel double jointed elbows really good and it swivels you got the hinge at the wrist his ab crunch moves that far down, not much, moves good amount back. Waist swivel, legs move that far apart, he kicks up that high, kicks that back, and he has a thigh rocker, thigh swivel, and double jointed knees, but no heel to the kill crew butt. You got the ankles that move up that far, down, and all around ankle pivot. And if you think the fun stops there, no, it does not. Lots of head swapping fun with a bunch of Punishers. So first up, we have the John Bernthal Netflix Punisher head on. And you know what? It doesn't look that bad. He, he looks like one of them juice heads where their biceps are bigger than their entire head. <laughs> Some of these head swaps are going to look a little small, but I think they're fine. It's just the arms are so jacked that it's probably throwing that off. Guarantee you. 
you if they kept the Netflix Luke Cage arms on that look a lot leaner. The head won't look as small. And here is the skull paint Punisher from the camel one. Something about it, it just looks so freaking badass. Even the bandana one too. I like how the gray bandana goes with the skull here. Okay, vintage Punisher head might be a win in my book. This looks good. I think the skin tone goes well. Now swapping heads with the Mezco Toy San Diego Comic Con exclusive Punisher. Just wow. Here's one of the other heads it came with and wow, again. Oh my god, the balaclava head, it's over. It's over. I mean, oh my god, no need to do more. It, this is just, it's, I'm done. This is, this is it. I'm done. And I went on and gave him the Mezco Toys PX exclusive Punisher Duster and, oh man, this tears of joy. Tears of joy. Now for some comparisons, here is our Punisher next to all the figures that share the same body. Netflix Luke Cage, another Netflix Luke Cage with the red shirt. I just put the roadie head on this body to have a casual roadie. And Hydro Man. Here is our Punisher next to two of last year's Punisher figures. We have the Camel Punisher and the War Machine Punisher. Here he is next to two classic looking Punisher figures. Here he is next to the Mezco Toys PX exclusive Punisher and the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Punisher. Here he is next to the Marvel Universe Frost Giants. And finally, here is our Kill Crew comparison with Black Knight and Juggernaut. And now for my on the shelf segment, here is the Kill Crew Punisher in my Asgardian cosmic shelf. And I feel like he fits right in. And being that he's one of the taller Punishers, I mean, look at him next to Hercules. He just looks really good standing alongside them in this shelf. And now to wrap things up, before I get into my final rating, I just want to tell you that this is one of the most fun legends of the year. Hasbro basically treated this guy as a deluxe for the vehicle series with tons of accessories. It was the correct treatment with lots of new accessories here like a baseball bat, machete, and some realistic looking guns finally. Putting him on the Luke Cage body with new pinless arms and giving him the Kill Crew helmet really refreshing the character again for this line. Since this Punisher is part of Thor's mythos, being a god and monsters killer traversing through the Ten Realms, you can put this guy in your Thor Asgard display. I mean, a Punisher in an Asgard display? How cool is that, right? The battle damage head was something needed for a Punisher and is my favorite look. The motorcycle vehicle, which we've seen before, still came out nice in its all-solid black deco with a few Punisher-like touches added to it. Would've laughed my ass off forever if he came with Thor's flying goat instead. <laughs> Imagine that in your collection. So much fun doing several head swaps and borrowing other Punisher accessories from other lines puts this on another level. Therefore, my final rating is a 10 out of 10. Total awesomeness. I don't have anything bad to say. A great figure for one of my favorite Marvel characters. He's the most enjoyable Punisher Legends figure and I think the best Punisher Legends figure that Hasbro has ever given us. I think this is now my new personal favorite Legends Punisher and this guy cemented a spot for my top 10 2020 Legends list. So now I kick it back to you guys. What do you guys think of this Punisher? Is there another version of Punisher you'd like to see next? Also, who would you like to see next in the Writer series? Comment below, let me know. That was my review. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends Writer series Punisher figure at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Check out my website, xmany87.com to view my photo gallery and merchandise. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace. Mm -hmm.